Over a minute later, freshman David McEwen bends an upper 90 strike home for his team high 11th goal of the year. Hey guys, so today's video is all about finishing or putting the ball into the back of the net. Now, exactly what is finishing? Finishing is a very loose kind of term. What it means is basically having the ability to put the ball in the back of the net when the opportunity presents itself. So that's simply what finishing is. Someone with a good finishing ability is able to score in a lot of situations, usually around or inside the 18-yard box. Okay, so I'm going to show you some clips of me finishing. Now, although finishing includes pretty much any way to finish, basically a good finisher does whatever they can to put the ball in the net, there are a few universal ways which make it a little easier and a few ways that good finishers do finish that are more effective than others. The first is the aim for the corners, the panels of the net. Side footing it into the corner is one of the best ways to finish. It's one of the most effective ways. So as you can see, it's a very effective way because you keep it out of the reach of the keeper. When you hit the panel of the net, you don't give the keeper too much opportunity to make a save. The second kind of finishing I want to show you is chipping the keeper. Now the reason this works is because it's very unexpected and very sneaky. Keepers are trained to dive down at a player's feet most of the time or to get low and make themselves big. So they're not usually concentrating on things above them. They don't have their hands up. They kind of have them spread out and they kind of go down. So if you can chip a ball very well and kind of disguise your chip to make it look like you're going to shoot low, you're going to score a lot of goals. It's personally one of my favorite ways to finish, and I deliberately made myself good at it. So I always had that trick up my sleeve. So if I was one-on-one -on -one with a keeper or had an opportunity against a keeper to chip them, and I was feeling pretty confident about it, I would take it. And a lot of the times, I would score. <laughs> That's another method of finishing that you should definitely practice. I only showed you me doing it twice, but definitely get good at doing that so that you can call upon it just in case you're not sure how to finish in the moment or the opportunity presents itself. Now, how do you practice finishing? The most effective way I've found is practice hitting the panels. Always hit a moving ball as well. Don't just, you know, get a bunch of balls and put them down on the ground and shoot them while they're stationary. Make sure you dribble the ball towards the goal and aim for the panels, aim for the corners. As you saw in some of my clips, I go at the goal at an angle. I show you frontwards as well, and I'm going to show you in a second going the other way at a different angle. Um, but basically, if you're going at an angle, aim for the panels. It's that big kind of side of the net. Aim for those, and if you can hit those consistently, you're going to score a ton of goals when you have the opportunity one-on-one -on -one with a keeper or you have an opportunity in the box to find that panel. What you should also be doing is practice some skill moves while finishing. Don't just run at the goal and finish, although you will be in that situation from time to time because um, you can see in the video I'm doing that. But you can also see a few times I'm doing a step over or faint or chop or some little move uh, to make it a little more realistic because sometimes you're going to have to beat a player one-on-one -on -one before you get your shot away. So make sure you're practicing that as well. one of the more important things that a lot of players probably overlook and I don't think they overlook it they kind of dread doing it they don't want to do it but I um, highly recommend that you do do it and that is practicing with your weaker foot now I'm going to show you some clips of me doing it with my left but 
a good finisher can finish with both feet. You don't have to be dominant with both of your feet, but at least be able to finish with both of your feet. I'm right-footed naturally, but I can finish very well with my left foot. I can shoot almost as well with my left as I can with my right. So whenever you go out to practice your finishing, I want you to at least do as many shots with your weaker foot as you do with your dominant foot. And if you really want to get good with your weaker foot, do at least 10 more shots with your weaker foot than with your dominant foot. Okay guys, so that's the general gist on how to finish. Remember, you a good finisher is someone who can beat the goalkeeper and score goals in many situations. And it isn't just a inherent trait. It's not something that just someone has and someone doesn't. It's very uh, much something that you have to practice at to get good at. So make sure if you're someone who is playing in an attacking position that you practice your finishing because without it, you're going to be in front of goal and not know what to do. And very much in many, many games of soccer, the result can be determined by one opportunity. Now, you want to be the player that takes that opportunity, that has the finishing ability to score. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and be sure to also like the video. And if you are new to Simply Soccer, um, what I try and do here is improve your game and help you stand out on the pitch. So I hope that you'll view my other videos and subscribe for the upcoming ones because I want to help make you a better player. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to do all that stuff below. Also leave me your comments and questions you have. I always answer all of them in the comments below. Until next time, I'll see you later.